Now that we've done our search and we're ready to go ahead and use the program, let's go ahead and bring in our export and start using the actual software to find the patterns and charts and graphs that are going to help you price homes. Okay, so let's start using the visual pricing system. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our export from our pricing MLS search. So we're going to click start here. And this opens this first window where we select your MLS. Now I am doing this in Northern Colorado. So I'm going to choose my MLS here. If you want to, you can always select this where it won't ask you anymore about if you want to keep that MLS or not. Um, in this case, I don't do business anywhere else. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. Now when I do this, it's going to be looking for where I saved that export file. Now remember I told you you can save it on the desktop, um, create a folder for it, but the standard usually be downloads. In this case though, like I recommended, I save it to my desktop. So I'm going to open up the Rigdon Farm area, which is a neighborhood in northern Colorado. It opens up this little dialog box. In this dialog box, it allows you to name both the subdivision or sub area um, and also the area in general. So in this case, the neighborhood is called Rigdon Farms and we're in Fort Collins. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done. Now, once I click done, the visual price system kind of does the work for you and creates the neighborhood patterns. So we'll go ahead and hit OK here. Now, we're still in this first page, but remember, we can navigate the visual price system in two ways. We can click patterns to go to patterns, or we can click down here on these tabs, which are already being shown. Let's just go ahead and do a button every time. So here's the patterns. I'm going to zoom in for you by clicking this little plus button here. Um, I'd recommend that for you if you kind of want to see it a little bit easier, both for yourself or for you know your customers if you happen to be showing them still in the, the visual pricing system. So you can see here, here are the odds of selling graphs created for you. Here are the time to sell graphs. And then also the buying patterns are automatically created. These are created without you having to do anything. Um, they are made specifically to answer key customer questions and done just by uploading that export. So as simple as that, we now have created all the patterns um, and can navigate between them on the bottom here. Now notice that that went away again and I clicked on the visual pricing and all my ribbons came back. And that's really all you have to do for opening your export in the neighborhood patterns. So in the next video, we're going to go right into how to use the pricing area, which is this button here, and talk about how to create your basic scattergram.